Hey guys, what's going on? Michael with Nocturnal Simulations here. Are you tired of feeling like your sim is running on fumes? Do you crave that little extra bit of performance that'll make your flight smoother than butter on a warm biscuit? Then buckle up, buttercup, because I've got the settings that'll make your head spin faster than a propeller on takeoff. Welcome to Nocturnal Simulations, where every week we bring you 90 seconds of tech tips, helping you maximize graphics and performance within Microsoft Flight Simulator, ensuring a smooth and stutter-free experience at a whole new level. Today's topic will cover my NVIDIA settings for better performance and quality within the simulator. If you're enjoying these episodes, please like and subscribe below. Hey guys, what's going on? Michael with Nocturnal Simulations here. Are you tired of feeling like your sim is running on fumes? Do you crave that little extra bit of performance that'll make your flight smoother than butter on a warm biscuit? Then buckle up, buttercup, because I've got the settings that'll make your head spin faster than a propeller on takeoff. Today, we'll be talking about the NVIDIA control panel settings and the tweaks I've made over the past few months that I've learned about from various sources within the flight simulator community. Keep in mind that these settings are tried and tested on my machine, so you may have to do some fiddling to get the right ones for you, but I hope this will at least get you started. The first thing we'll want to do is open up the NVIDIA control panel and head on over to the global settings located under Manage 3D Settings. The only setting we need to adjust here is to set the shader cache to unlimited. This will help with performance. Now let's move on to the program settings. These will be specific to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Set the anisotropic filtering to 16x and you can now turn off the end simulator settings. This may improve texture quality in the simulator over the end simulator settings. Next, set the low latency mode to ultra. This will reduce input lag and improve responsiveness. Set the max frame rate to your preferred maximum FPS, I use 45 and this will help to keep the frame rate stable and avoid fluctuations. For OpenGL rendering, GPU, make sure to select your NVIDIA card, as it will ensure you are using the NVIDIA card just in case. Then, set the power management to prefer maximum performance. This will prioritize performance over power efficiency. This will also keep the card's clock speeds running at full speed while in the simulator, so it will likely increase the stable temperatures just a little bit while preventing swings that may introduce stutters. Moving on, you'll want to turn off the texture filtering and isotropic sampling, as this can possibly cause blurry textures. Allowing negative LOD bias under texture filtering will give you better texture quality, or you can select clamp for better performance. Finally, enable threaded optimization. This will optimize the usage of your multiple CPU cores. One last section is under video adjust color settings located under video. You'll want to make sure you click with NVIDIA settings under how do you make color adjustments. Go to the Advanced tab and select Full for your dynamic range. And that's it! These settings will help improve performance and enhance the visual quality of your Microsoft Flight Simulator experience. Happy flying!